oil that we extract from the depths, also known as crude oil or petroleum, is formed by the dead remains of ancient marine organisms such as plants, algae and bacteria. Over millions of years, intense heat and pressure convert these organic remains or fossils into carbon-rich substances. Usually, the crude oil is a mixture of a number of different hydrocarbons and other unwanted impurities which need to be removed in order to make it suitable for our uses. By itself though, crude oil is not very useful in its natural state, but we still import it in the hundreds of millions of tons year after year, every year. This is primarily because we are interested in the different components that make up the liquid. These constituents have different boiling points and this property is used to separate the components of crude oil. So when we heat crude oil, the components with lower boiling points vaporize and the gaseous components are condensed to obtain individual components. This seemingly simple process called fractional distillation is actually pretty complicated in reality. Apart from fractional distillation, there are a number of other complicated processes involved. Overall, crude oil can be converted into useful components like LPG, petrol, diesel, kerosene and jet fuel among many other things. This process is called petroleum refining or oil refining. Like most chemical processes and manufacturing methods, petroleum refining also has its fair share of waste products. In this case though, it is in the form of long chain hydrocarbons which don't really have that high a demand. These long chain hydrocarbons have a higher boiling point, meaning they require higher temperatures to ignite. Plus, it's likely that these high molecular long chain hydrocarbons exist in the form of solids at room temperature, so they don't perform nearly as well as petrol or diesel in terms of fuel efficiency. So what do we do with the waste? We can't just throw them, can we? This mixture of long chain hydrocarbons can be broken down into highly valuable lighter compounds such as naphtha, gasoline and diesel among others. These broken down compounds have lower boiling points so they are easier to ignite and hence immensely useful as fuels. One of the earlier but older methods to carry out this process is called thermal cracking and rightly so because the word cracking does paint a picture of things being broken down, doesn't it? The thermal part of the name as in thermal cracking implies that heat is employed to cause the cracking in the process. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.